Good morning, everybody, and thank you again for joining. Just a little bit more about my background. I've been in the industry for about 17 years. I did start as a study coordinator at the University of California, Davis. I then worked as a CRA, a project manager. I've also worked in QA as an auditor. I was recently director of clinical operations at a company focusing on real-time feasibility evaluation based on patient medical records and also now work as a trainer with Barnett. So our learning objectives for today are to discuss the content of the guideline, including the relationship to traditional monitoring plans, to assess the implications of the guideline to current monitoring practices and relationships with oversight of clinical investigators, and to explain ways in which the regulatory climate is reflected in the new monitoring guidelines. 